Good morning, my name is Maila Claro. I will present my work entitled Convolution Neural Network Models for Acute Leukemia Diagnosis. This work was carried out at the Federal University of Piauí and was supported by FAPEP and CAPS. Here is the schedule for presenting our work. A brief introduction will be made about the content covering following the objective of the work and the works found in the literature. Material and methods will also be presented, namely the convolution neural networks or CNNs, both tools already exist and that obtain satisfactory results, and the CNNs developed in, in this work. The database image is used, and the data documentation techniques applied will also be presented. The results and discussions, and finally the conclusion, will be presented. Leukemia is a type of cancer that affects white blood cells. White blood cells actively participate in the human immune system and assist in the defense of the body against invaders. Infected white blood cells are produced while uncontrollable. Decrease the body ability to fight infections. They affect red blood cells are less able to carry oxygen. Affect platelets cause clotting problems leading to bleeding and bruising. According to the American Cancer Society, 61,718 new cases and 22,800 40 deaths are estimated in 2019. There are some classifications of leukemia. The focus of this paper is acute leukemia, where there is acute lymphoid leukemia or ALL and acute myeloid leukemia or AML. Here we can see examples of images that are used in this study. Figure 1a shows an image with acute lymphoid leukemia, b an acute myeloid leukemia, and c health blood slides or HBS. What difference does to acute leukemia is the infected cell in ALL, the cell is the lymphoid and AML, it's the myeloid cell. The purpose of this paper is to present models of CNN architectures to diagnose acute leukemia types in blue slide images. To develop the architectural model proposed in this work, we rely on architectures that recently obtained the best results in leukemia detection according to the study from the literature. For the search for works in the literature that detect leukemia, we divided the works found in four approaches. The first approach classifies the image as leukemic or not, and we find the work of Fogad Veral. The second approach classifies images into acute or acute lymphoid leukemia. Among all the approaches, this one has the most work in the area. Looking at Table 1, we can see that from 2007 to 2019, the works are using deep features as a descriptor and convolutional neural network as classifiers. The results of this approach range from 81% to over 19%. The third approach is classifiers images as HTR with acute myeloid leukemia. We found two papers and they use texture descriptors and support vector machine classifier or SBM. The fourth approach classifies the image into three classes, acute lymphoid leukemia, acute myeloid leukemia or HILT image. We found two papers that use texture, color and shape descriptors and the SBM classifier. The accuracy obtained in these studies was greater than 99%.
This latter approach is one applied in this study. Convolution neural networks, or CNNs, had their concept introduced by Ian Lecou and Fukushima in J1990. They have recently been popularized throughout the ImageNet large scale visual recognition competition. Neural networks are formed by convolution layers that tend to structure different representations of images for later classification. Senians are highly complex and have two significant challenges. First, obtaining large datasets for training. Second, the provision of computational power through GPUs to train the model appropriately. Based on state-of-the-art architectures such as ArcNet, CAFNet and VGGNet, we initially studied the Acute Leukemia Recognition Network, or ARLETNet, a CNN for the Yakut Leukemia classification in good slides. ARLETNet has five convolution layers, followed by batch normalization and max pool layers. The shallower layers are formed by two full connected layers, followed by dropout operation and soft max layer with three neurons. From the initial model, we carried out an ablation study to remove or replace layers in our net. Thus, we built two models using technologies implemented in some of the CNNs with the best results in the ImageNet competition. They are ResNet and Exception. We developed the ArtNet with a residual layer, or ArtNet Air, and the ArtNet with depth-wise separable convolutions layer, or ArtNet X. In the ArtNet Air development, we inserted a residual structure similar to ResNet. In turn, we used a max pool after the input layer to resize the original image. The result of this operation is concatenated with the second convolution layer max pool result. Therefore, the image to be concatenated does not undergo modifications in the initial convolution layers. We observed that the residual generates tends to propagate the image's essential characteristics during the training studies, presenting the literature proving the efficiency of this approach. To develop a model that enables less computational expensive training, we study ArtNet X. The depth-wise separable convolution layers were introduced in the exception architecture and provide greater computational efficiency since the number of operations performed during convolution is reduced. That is, they have less complexity and require less training time than regular convolution layers. For the development of this work, we carried out in an investigation of the basis used by the works. In addition, we searched all the publicly available databases. We obtained 16 public databases containing real images with ALL, EML, in addition to other types of leukemia. Now, 2,415 images were used in the work. Using that augmentation tends to decrease the possibility of the overfitting, increase the generalizability of the model. The techniques used were rotation, vertical and horizontal translation, shear, zoom, and flipping. We evaluated the architectures ArtNet, ArtNet Air, and ArtNet X throughout CAFOT cross-validation with CHI Fault 5. In addition, we was performing the experiment with the exclusion of the dropout layer for each of the models. This is due to the fact that the batch normalization layer already serves as a regularizer avoiding overfitting. From the results presented in Table 4, 
we found that Alatinet RWD achieved the best results in terms of accuracy, 97.18%. Recall and Kappa, while Alatinet R obtained the highest precision rate. We also highlight the results obtained by the Alatinet without dropout. We carry out a comparison among the Alatinet RWD results and the ones obtained by works of literature that address the same problem. From Table 5, one can realize that the works in the literature presented higher accuracy values than Alatinet RWD. However, the number of images used in two studies is at least four times less than the number of images used in this work. Another critical point is that one day current research used more than one image dataset. This characteristic leads to a greater diversity in the trained data, which leads to the achievement of a robust method for differentiating input image types. For the best trade-off between network accuracy and complexity, we evaluated the end comparing ArletNet RWD against the CNNs, ResNet 15, Inception V3, and Exception. These CNNs presented excellent results in the ImageNet competition. We applied fine-tuned techniques which consisted of using a pre-trained architecture to carry out the transfer layer. Thus, training is on conducting and selecting layers and with lower learning rates. The most commonly used fine-tune techniques used in the literature is shallow fine-tune or SFT and deep fine-tuning or DFT. From Table 6, when confirming the ArletNet RWD superiority by a chef kappa value is considered excellent, while the other CNNs did not obtain satisfactory performance. Besides having achieved the best performance in terms of classification, ArletNet RWD generates a smile file using few parameters. Comparing tablet 6 and 7, and one can realize that the use of DFT resulted in a substantial performance scan of the pre-trained CNNs. With DFT, ResNet 15 overcome ArletNet RWD with the best results in terms of accuracy, precision, recall, and kappa. We performed a statistical evolution using the student test with a significant level of 5% and found that the results achieved by ArletNet RWD and ResNet 15 are statistically equivalent. Therefore, one can conclude that ArletNet RWD are totally less complex. It has about one-third of the parameters relative to older CNNs. Achieves results comparable to pre-trained architectures. Figure 3 shows examples of activation maps for good slides. P. Images with one local site. P. Images with various local sites. The first column are images of the IBM class. The second column are images of the IML class and the third of the HBS class. Several literature methods have shown promising results. However, they need to be evaluated on a more significant number of numbers for better reliability in their results. The result of the proposed method is entirely satisfactory, obtained an accuracy greater than 19.7 percent in 16 public databases. One of the main advantages of the proposed method is to CNN's ability to classify images for various heterogeneous databases. Thank you for watching. I am available for questions.